Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Dan from DHTV and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up your iPhone 17 Pro Max, iPhone 17 Pro, 17, 17 Air, or any iPhone that has iOS 26. I'm also going to show you how to transfer your data from your old iPhone to your new iPhone. And as always, if you're looking for more great iPhone tips, tricks, and tutorials, the full playlist is in the video description. Let's get started. All right, so I've got the two iPhones here, the iPhone 17 Air and 17 Pro here, but the process is the same for all iPhones. I'm gonna show you first how to set up the iPhone from scratch. If you wanna set up the iPhone from another phone, so transferring from say this phone to this phone, click that timestamp or skip ahead to that timestamp and it'll take you to that portion of the video. So first, press the side button to unlock or hold on it to turn on the iPhone and then just swipe up and we'll go through each of these options. First, choose your language and your country or region. From here, you can choose between the look and appearance. So I'm gonna leave it on default. From here, we're gonna set it up without another device because we're doing it from scratch. And it's going to prompt you to select a Wi-Fi network and then enter in your passcode and then hit the check mark up top. We'll wait a few minutes here for it to activate the phone. From here, we're going to tap continue or the privacy. And then you want to choose your age range and then we'll set up face ID. So for this, we're going to tap continue. And any one of these settings that we're going through, you can change them later on the iPhone. So we've set that up and we're going to align our face here. It's grabbing my face, even with the camera and my hat. And then from here, you can choose to use Face ID with a mask uh, or if you don't wanna use it with a mask. So I don't wanna use it with a mask. So we'll tap continue, enter a passcode. If it's too weak, it'll prompt you like this. I'm just gonna keep it this way for this example, enter it again. And from here, it's asking you if you wanna transfer from another device. Like I said, you guys, if you're doing that, skip ahead. We're gonna say, don't transfer anything. Now from here, you're going to enter your Apple account. So your Apple ID. If you've never set one up before, you're gonna tap on forgot password or don't have an account. You can then go here and create a free Apple account. Or if you forgot your password, you can set that up there. Once you've set it up, come back to this page and you're gonna enter in the email or phone number associated with your Apple ID. Tap continue and enter your password. Tap continue again. Okay, and it'll begin to sign in and bring you to this page here. Tap agree to the terms of service and it'll continue signing in. Now, depending on if you have an Apple Watch or not, it's going to ask you to enter that passcode that unlocks the Apple Watch. It also gives you access to your iCloud. It might ask you to do this with another device. This may or may not happen for you. So I'm just going to enter in the passcode for the Apple Watch. And then from this page, you can set up or see how your phone is going to be set up. So first off, these settings, this is how they're set up right now. There's wallet items as well, because it's pulling that from my Apple ID. If you didn't set this up with an Apple ID, none of this would show here, but we're gonna go to customize so that we can set all of these settings from scratch and you can see all of them. So first off, how do you want your iPhone to update? You can tap continue and it'll update and install automatically. Otherwise choose only download. And the reason I choose that is I wanna choose when it installs. Otherwise you're gonna be left without a phone while it's installing. Location services, you can turn these on. I'm gonna set those up later. I don't really have a need for location services right now, but things like maps and stuff like that will utilize that. Now here, because iPhones are primarily eSIM now for a lot of us, this is now prompting us to transfer our phone number from our iPhone. You can do that right here. Otherwise, set it up later and continue without cellular. I'm gonna set that up later just because there's a lot of personal information there. And you have Apple Pay. So if you wanna set up different credit cards, you can tap continue and enter in your credit cards and set them up. I'm gonna do that later as well. Once again, a lot of personal information. Now, screen time. This is a very good feature that'll help you get a weekly report of how you're using your iPhone. So you can set limits, you can put passwords so that at a certain time, it's gonna stop you. So if you have a child that's not supposed to be on the iPad or iPhone, after a certain time, you can set those limits and passwords. I'm gonna set this up later. I have a full tutorial on that on my channel though, if you're looking to learn how that works and how to use it. 
From here, iPhone analytics, I don't share my analytics with Apple or any company. And here you can choose light or dark display. So light, auto, so it'll change automatically between day or night. And then the dark display like so. So I'm gonna go to light and we'll go to continue. You can set up Apple intelligence here as well. This is more advanced, so I'll leave this for later in the settings. You can click the card right here if you wanna learn how to turn on Apple Intelligence, set it up and use it, and how it integrates with your iPhone. So we'll set that up later as well. And here it's giving us a preview of camera control, how it's going to work. And camera control is this button on the side here. So if you didn't have an iPhone 16 Pro, this is going to be a new control for you. You can go through this and see how it works, light press and things like that. Otherwise, just tap continue. The action button. So if you're coming from an older iPhone that did not have an action button, that's the new action button. And it's giving you a brief rundown. You can customize it right here. I have a tutorial on how to use the action button and customize it there. Otherwise, you can do it later in settings, so I'm going to skip that for now as well. And its default is set when you press on that action button to a silent switch. We'll set up Siri here. So we'll tap continue. And you can choose a voice, for example. The colors of the sky fade. The colors of the sky fade with the setting sun. Stars begin to shine through the clear night. And we'll just tap continue. So you're just going to follow and say what it says here. Siri, how's the weather? Hey Siri, send a message. Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, get directions home. Siri, play some music. You can tap done. This is the emergency SOS section and it's really important for you to read through these sections because they could potentially save your life by pressing these two buttons to call emergency services or crash detection and how it works. Tap continue when you've read through those we can get started with our iPhone. So your iPhone is now set up. The next step is to learn how to use your iPhone to its max capabilities. These are expensive. I have a full playlist of tips, tricks, and tutorials. You can click the playlist up top or the link in the video description so you can learn everything there is to learn about these iPhones. All right, so at this point of the video, I'm going to show you now how to set up your iPhone by transferring the data from your previous iPhone. I'm using the iPhone Air and the iPhone 17 Pro, but you can use pretty much any iOS device to transfer and set up the iPhone. So first, let's go through the beginning process here. We'll swipe up and tap our language and the country or region. Choose the appearance you want. I'm going to leave it on default. And then it should pop up on your screen here. If it doesn't, you're going to lock your phone. You're going to unlock it again, and it'll prompt you with this screen. So we're going to tap continue. If it prompts you to enter your passcode or face ID, do that. So I'll try my best to show you, but you're hovering over the icon there until this appears where it says getting ready. Now, if you're setting this up for yourself, you tap set up for me, otherwise the child account. So we'll do that. This next step here, we're gonna enter the passcode of the iPhone that has the information you're transferring. So the older iPhone here. So we'll enter that in. And you'll notice that throughout this process, these different loading pages will appear. You don't want to shut anything down or have the phone die or anything like that. So make sure you have enough battery power or plug it up to the charger. And also, depending on how much stuff you had on your previous phone, this whole process may take longer or shorter. Now, if you are prompted with a software update, most new iPhones have one. You can choose to update it now or later. Just for this tutorial, I'm going to select later and will be brought to the section that says data and privacy. Tap continue. We can set up face ID and we'll do that. So we'll tap continue here, get started at the bottom, and then you're just going to bring your face into position. I've got the camera and myself here and you're kind of just turning your head so it captures all of it. Very simple, very easy. Now you can choose to use face ID with a mask or not, or you can set it up later in settings. You can always change all of these things that we're going through in this setup in the settings as well. So now it's asking us to transfer the data from the iPhone. So it's going to transfer from here. You can choose continue and it'll again go through the process of setting up your account, signing in. And then from this page, we're going to just agree to these terms and it'll continue signing in. 
Now from here, it says, make this your new iPhone. Here's everything set up as you had it on your other phone. So this is the settings. You can tap on these options here that have the arrow. So the settings, we had Siri off, screen time was off for me, the action button, location was off. I had pretty much everything off for this. And then your wallet items as well. Now, if you wanna customize any of these, you're going to tap on customize and it'll walk you through each one of these options. However, we're not going to go through that in this portion. We did that in the manual setup when we set up the iPhone from scratch. So we're going to tap continue. It's going to ask you how you want your updates to be handled so you can have them update automatically or only download. I choose only download just so that the installations don't actually interrupt what I'm doing. It's asking us for location again. We'll set that up later and we'll tap OK. You can turn it on if you want. Stolen device protection is a good feature as well, so you can turn that on. I'm gonna say not now, just for this. And then you'll be prompted with any Apple Wallet cards you've had, so you can then configure them as well. I'm just gonna select add this card later for all of these. Then it's gonna ask you about the iPhone analytics, and I never share this with Apple or any company. You can choose to if you'd like. Apple intelligence, you can set this up here if you want. Otherwise, you can do it later in the settings. Like I said earlier, if you're interested in learning how to use Apple intelligence, I have a full tutorial on that as well. So I'm gonna set it up later. And it's going to give us a camera control tutorial. So you can go through this. I also have a tutorial on this if you'd like. You can watch it on my channel. But uh, I'm gonna just tap continue here for now and then read through the emergency SOS features. It's very important, it could save your life. So just go through this and tap continue. And now we're gonna be going through the transfer process. And this is where it really depends on how much data and stuff you had on this phone. It's gonna take longer to transfer it to this phone. So this could take hours, this could take minutes. For me, it's gonna be fairly quick because these are both brand new phones. All right, so it has completed. You can see transfer complete. This phone here is starting back up. We can tap continue on this phone while this one is loading. I just wanna go over a couple of things here. It's going to ask you if you want to erase this phone and it's gonna sign you out of your Apple account, remove your personal data so it can be safely traded in and things like that. Don't do it yet. You can do this later in the settings. Just make sure that you have everything you need on this phone first. You can either, either leave it on this screen or you can just say not now. I'm not gonna do that with this phone anyway and it'll take me back to my home screen. I'll save you from having to watch this whole thing and I'll return when the iPhone is ready. It just took about a minute to complete the whole thing for me here. We'll swipe up and we can enter in our passcode and the restore is completed. Apps and data will continue downloading in the background and that's something that's very important to understand, especially if you've had a lot of messages like hundreds or thousands of them with pictures and things like that. We're just gonna continue through this quick tutorial that they like to give and we'll tap get started. So, like I said, make sure that your messages, your photos, all your important information has transferred here before you delete this other phone. And then if everything's okay, you can open up settings and you can see what's uh, written right here, step-by-step -step instructions to prepare this phone to be sold, given away, traded in through Apple Trade. So you can go through the get started section. But that is it, that's the iPhone 17 setup process. So if you're trying to set up the iPhone Air, iPhone 17, 16, 15, whatever. The pros are very similar as we have iOS 26 here. If you ran into any trouble or have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I'm happy to help you out. As always, there's a link in the description for the full playlist of the iPhone 17 tips, tricks, and tutorials, as well as the new Apple Watch Series 11. So check those out. If you're interested, hit the like button, subscribe, and click the bell notification box so you're notified when I post new videos. And I'll see you in the next one.